In the deserts of North America, there is an incredible shift going on silently without us noticing. These lifeless dry plains are slowly turning into verdant wetlands. All this change due to a very mysterious creature. They only appear at night. Restless and even stubborn are the words often used to describe one of the hardest workers of this nature. They work tirelessly all night, night after night. Do you know what this mysterious creature is? That's right, I'm talking about beavers. So how can a beaver turn an arid land into a green land full of life? In this video, we'll show you how beavers have been saving desert rivers for 12 years to help fight wildfires, reduce drought, and reverse the decline in fish populations. If you are coming to our channel for the first time, we always need your help by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell. We would also like to hear from you as we finish watching this video. Please write your opinion in the comments to let us know. In this video, we will learn about two typical cases of the impact of beavers on rivers in two completely desert regions of North America. One is in the northern cold and dry desert region in Oregon, and the other is in the hotter and even drier desert region in Nevada. But first, to understand how beavers can change the landscape, we need to understand a little bit about beavers. They are the second largest semi-aquatic rodent in the world, second only to the water guinea pig. There are two existing species, classified by their origin, including the North American beaver and the Eurasian beaver. They are well adapted to both terrestrial and aquatic life, as they have hand-like front paws that make them move on land easily, webbed hind paws that allow them to swim and move in water very quickly. Behind them, there is a special, scaly parrot tail that is 6 to 12 inches long. They act as a rudder when they swim, store fat, and serve as a warning signal by patting the surface of the water to warn other beavers of predators. Beavers are herbivores, bark, leaves, aquatic plants. Strong front teeth make it easy for them to consume hard foods such as bark. According to the National Park Service, the first European explorers to reach North America in the 1600s recorded encountering countless beavers in lakes, rivers, ponds, and valleys. There are descriptions that suggest that the number of beavers at that time seemed to be endless, estimated at 100 million to 200 million individuals. Valleys and fields across the states are filled with ponds and wetlands, each with its own fertile wetlands, meadows, and bushes. Wetlands and ponds created by beavers may have covered more than 300,000 square miles in pre-Columbian America. This means that one-tenth of the total land area is fertile wetlands created by beavers. At a later time, Europeans began to hunt beavers and almost killed them all in a short time for feathers, meat and scent glands called castorium. Castorium has been used in medicine, perfumery, and food flavoring. Beaver fur was a major driver of the fur trade, as overhunting caused beavers across the state to become nearly extinct. As of 2023, an estimated 10 to 15 million beavers remain in North America. Since humans cultivate and inhabit beaver land, beavers are considered pests because beaver nature often builds dams on rivers and valleys that can flood farms, fields, or people's homes. They can also cut trees for food or use to build dams to prevent water. This means that farmers across the states do not want the existence of beavers, and their solution is to relocate beavers. In the 1960s, the government's relocation plans were to capture beavers, then fly them to other areas and parachute them to remote locations. Beaver relocation still continues to this day. Today, however, there are ways in which beavers and humans can coexist. There are some simple but proven interventions that are effective such as controlling the water level of beaver ponds and preventing flooding, allowing water to flow through beaver dams at a controlled rate, reducing the risk of upstream flooding while maintaining the wetland habitat created by beavers, building culvert protection fences to prevent beavers from flooding roads and property, 
building steel fences wrapped around tree trunks to prevent beavers from felling them. Beavers are agile and flexible in the water, but not very good on land. They move slowly and are vulnerable to predators. Nautical miles abound with natural predators such as coyotes, bears, and mountain lions. This is why beavers are mainly active at night to avoid predators and do most of their work at night. During the day they are in solid houses built by themselves with branches and sticks. The way they escape from most terrestrial predators is in water that is deep enough for them to hide in. And that's why they build dams to block the water and to protect them from predators. These dams will block the flow of water to make the water deeper. And in doing so, they change the amount and quality of water available in the stream system. Research has shown that beaver-produced ponds and dams significantly increase the number of fish because they serve as a breeding ground for fish such as trout, rainbow trout, sunfish. Beaver homes are impressive structures because you can only reach them from the underwater entrances by about a meter. This prevents any predators from entering, making the beaver's nest a safe place to sleep and feed their young. In these footage by Emily Fairfax, we can see how beavers can change the landscape. First, it shows how the beaver dam holds water and becomes a pond. From the pond, beavers then dig canals out onto the landscape, dispersing this extra water on either side, and plants start to grow around the canals. This is how beavers create wetlands. By expanding the area of the river around them, it means that when wildfires occur, beaver-generated wetlands are not affected making them safe when wildfires occur. As you can see in these photos that take place after a wildfire, the beaver-managed areas remain green, while around them the land is scorched and burned to the ground. What we see is that inside the beaver population, they store a lot of water in the pond by building dams, which means that even when the drought lasts for two, three, even four years, there is still enough water to keep the trees green. This brings us to the incredible examples of beavers restoring rivers in deserts. Over the past 12 years, in the highland deserts of Oregon, an incredible transformation has been witnessed after beavers were brought back to the region. These high deserts are in the northernmost part of North America's Basin and Range Province. It covers an area of about 30,000 square miles and receives only 7 inches of rain per year. Before the beavers returned to land, it was severely eroded. Rivers and streams have been simplified to create more land for cultivation and livestock. And the result was streams had cut through the highly erodible soil. Rivers are virtually lifeless, and farming has degraded the land. The beavers that were brought back created dams that flooded the land. They then dug water channels to the banks of streams creating a growing wetland that is now home to all kinds of plants and animals. Beavers have transformed the riverbed from a simple straight line where the water flows quickly and causes erosion into a wetland of ponds and canals, slowing the flow of water and retaining more of it. Here, we can see the difference beavers made on the landscape from 2009 to 2021. As a result, the number of dams increased eightfold. All those dams slowed the flow of water and retained silt, becoming fertile conditions for all kinds of plants to grow and resist soil degradation. In this next example, we will showcase the beaver's incredible power to transform degraded land. We're in Nevada, where something absolutely amazing happened. In the Nevada desert, the weather is getting hotter and drier, but part of the state is doing the opposite. The weather is getting wetter and cooler because over the past 30 years, changes have occurred as the natural return of beavers in this desert river system called Dixie Creek. Nevada has a predominantly arid climate with rainfall averaging less than 10 inches per year. The state is mostly desert and arid climates. 30 years ago, this was the state of the streams here. They were gravel with little or no vegetation. This is because grazing cattle will eat whatever grows there. As a result, the land is arid and lifeless. 
Therefore, a plan has been drawn up to build fences to keep cattle away from the banks of the river. Grazing cattle is rotated so that these areas can recover. By doing this during the dry season and the hottest time of the year, riverside and stream vegetation begins to regrow, attracting beavers, and they quickly embark on damming up and down the river. The dams deepen the water and create floodplains. Now, even during severe droughts, the creek is still wet. Lush vegetation grows in contrast to the desert around it. Beavers are extremely adept at slowing the flow of water in canals, building floodplains, and most importantly, storing water. When that was done, everything changed. The water that flowed swiftly through the land has now been deposited, and the arid ravines have now become lush wetlands. Beavers refilled groundwater, creating a wetland paradise. That is the whole content that we learn in this video. Please support our channel by clicking the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to receive the latest videos. Goodbye and see you in the next video.